Alright, so this is one filament of our branch nocardia form. As you can see, it is one full filament with many, many branches that go off in three directions, or three dimensional directions. Over time, with more filaments, we'll have more filaments come in. Um, they'll end up kind of getting tangled up together because this is how they grow. And in the flock, they might actually start ripping the flock apart. So as they keep growing, the flock gets weaker and weaker, and sometimes the filaments end up on their own with or without some parts of the flock. Now another interesting thing about nocardiforms is the cell membrane, which is composed of fatty acids that make them likely to float. Um, aeration and their structure will also make them likely to float to the top of an aeration basin. So as you get more and more filaments floating, you end up with a large, loosely formed net of nocardiforms. And this is contributing to your foam layer.